Right, in my last video I showed some Matchifit spindle sets which you can actually buy on Banggood for very low cost at the moment. And in that video I showed how to assemble them and mentioned their various uses. And if you watched that video you would have seen that you have four different sets to actually choose from. The only difference being the actual chuck and the taper on the actual spindle. So I've used the smaller set today to make up a tall post drill for the Chinese mini lathe. It's the quickest way of actually making up a tall post drill and also it's very low cost. I think they're about a 16, $17 at the moment because there's 65% um, off, they're on special offer. So if you want a tall post drill for your Chinese mini lathe or your Myford lathe or any other lathe really, this is the quickest method and the lowest cost method of actually making one up. And they are so low cost and so dead easy to actually make up, I think I shall make a set of these so that I can actually leave a centre drill set up all the time and maybe other drills that I use often. And then rather than taking the drill out each time when I actually want to change over to um, a drill from a centre drill or whatever, I can actually just take the tool post drill out of the holder and swap it over for the next tool. And if you do that, that saves so much time. All you have to do really is make sure that you make the bracket that goes on the back of the tool post drill exactly the same on um, centers and everything, so that when you change over, it's on exactly the same center height. And that's all dead easy to do because once you've made one bracket up, you can actually use the two parts as a jig to make the other parts. So I'd actually unscrew this part here and put it on exactly the same size piece and then use a transfer punch to actually get all the holes in exactly the same position and then use a transfer punch through this part here to the center of this um, bar or this square bar. Now the housing when you buy this one um, has a thread in the back of these holes here, five millimeter thread um, part way up. I don't use those at all. Um, the easiest way to actually uh, make one of these tall post drills is to open up the holes to five millimeter. So the five millimeter Allen bolt will go straight through and then thread the plate that you're actually going to screw it onto. I didn't have any five millimeter Allen bolt, so I used six millimeter and they go through all right. Plus they don't break out the side here. It's very close, but they don't break out anywhere and you can't see any marks or anything pushed out from the sides where I've drilled those through. I just put them straight on the um, bench drill and drilled down with a six millimeter drill. So like I said, it's best to use um, five millimeter and that's because the six millimeter Allen bolts actually clash with this angle here. So what I've done with mine is I just put them up in the lathe like that and put a 45 degree chamfer on this side here on the underside of the head. So it can actually go down nice and square onto the actual housing without clashing on the actual angle here. But if you like I say, get the five millimeter Allen bolts and draw that through for five millimeter, you won't get that problem. And when I had drilled mine out for six millimeter, I put it on a piece of five millimeter plate, nice and square, and used transfer punches to actually get the holes in the correct places. I do one first and then screw the housing onto that one with one Allen bolt and then do the other holes or do the other um, punch marks with the transfer punch so I can actually screw it on there nice and square, hold it nice and tight and then get all those other punch marks in exactly the right place. 
and this piece of steel is only um, it's about 30 millimeter wide and then I put 4BA um, through holes in the dead center there so that's equal both sides dead center to these uh, screws and then I've put that onto a piece of 10 millimeter square bar I marked up the center and put this on and used a transfer punch through those to get those holes um, dead right then I drilled through the um, square bar and tapped that for 4BA and then I've used 4BA uh, countersink screws or countersunk screws in those countersunk holes so like I said I can just use those parts as jigs for actually making the other parts up and making a few of these up for the other housings. So that's a close up of the bracket I've made and on this corner here you can see a chamfer that's to clear my um, cordless drill chuck and you'll see that in a minute when I show it on the lathe being used. And the housing just screws onto that one And you can see there that I've left this bar long and this is so that when it goes into the tool holder the actual tool post drill can be slid backwards and forwards to get the um, various different um, positions. On the Chinese mini lathe you haven't got much room on travel on the cross slide to get it back far enough so in that um, situation you would slide this one back and tighten the tool post drill up there and then you'll have plenty of room and if you make them correctly you can actually sight down on the shaft here and see that it's dead parallel to the actual square bar that goes in the actual quick change tool holder and if you watch my other videos where I made my own tool post drill housing and the whole assembly all together you'll see that you can actually use a tool post drill in a tool post vise first so the tool post drill goes in the tool post vise and the tool post vise goes in the actual quick change tool holder and then you have double movement because you can move the vise back and forward and also the tool post drill back and forward and I'm actually really pleased the way this has turned out like I said it's low cost easy to make it's got really good quality bearings the chuck is absolute brilliant quality and it's all round a really good piece of kit to have and I've been using it today in the workshop on the Chinese mini lathe to do some holes in a piece of aluminium pipe. So I'll just show that now.